Monkey see, monkey doo-doo by Ulisa Vega. Where is the offense? It is in the dung. For us the word is shit, for us the excrement is unholy, defiling, and disgusting. But that seems unlikely to be this artist's meaning, as he incorporates elephant dung throughout his paintings. Christopher O'Filly, a British Turner Prize winning painter, best known for the paintings he has incorporating elephant dung, first began to use elephant dung in his work following a research trip to Zimbabwe in 1992. He became interested in the way that the dung was used to trace the behavior of wild animals and how coming from a low-income country, Africans used dung to create many things such as paper. The average elephant excretes enough to produce 115 sheets of paper each day. Ophili stated that the inclusion of the dung was a way of raising the paintings up from the ground and giving them a feeling that they've come from the earth rather than simply being hung on a wall. It is used as a way to bring the African connection to animals, to nature, and a crass way of bringing the landscape into the painting. He was limited on his paintings and wanted to ground his effort in a cultural natural way, so he stuck on the dung. He said African art always incorporated dung without meaning for it to be offensive. Ophelia claims that he kept using the dung only because people focused on him, so he started saying anyone can use elephant dung, why does it specifically have to be associated with African culture? Adding elephant dung to his canvas affirms his seriousness, talent as an artist, and reflects expanding vision. Ophili puts no stock in political correctness. He intends to push people's buttons and does so all around. Some will see him as offending his religion or his race, others as offending painting or art itself. But his work is an honest and wise reflection of the world and the possibilities of art as he, a black man and painter, sees them. Ophili was born in England to Nigeria parents and was raised a Roman Catholic. He has often used his work to address faith and the way it is represented across different cultures. Ophili had lived in different places and each place had an effect on him in the way people treated him which made him struggle because he felt lost and not created. He talked about how people who didn't believe in him actually helped him with his creativity. The notion that acknowledging race and racism would limit his appeal never occurred to Ophili. He always set out to embrace all that he is. He was always seen negative and Ophili said there was no way he would exclude that part of himself. He said he was not interested in being right all the time because it was boring. He said he wanted to be sincere, outrageous, friendly, rude, experimental, and conventional because he wanted to be who he was. The painting that caused the most controversy by Ophili was the Holy Virgin Mary because religious viewers thought it was very offensive. He made his very own representation of the Virgin Mary and people called it the parody-like African mouth. The reasons why viewers were offended was because all of the facial features were exaggerated and they said it was a racial stereotype. But most of Ophili's artwork expresses his interest in black culture. Ophili's work illuminates the issues of race and challenges the historical representation of black subjectivity. This is supposed to be the black Madonna and it's surrounded by collaged images that look like butterflies at first, but when you get close, they're really photographs of female genitalia. In this abstracted painting, the largest figure is a monkey placed in the middle sitting down and his whole body is facing to the right. He is wearing a floral white vest and a red hat. His tail is longer than the body and it is curled. The monkey, however, has human-like hands and feet holding a light blue vase in his right hand. His fingernails are painted pink and the monkey's head is looking down at the vase. There are three pieces of brown elephant dung floating on top of the vase located to the right 
and on the dung there are three words written, sex, money, and drugs. On this tactile painting, the focal point is a 2D monkey causing directional force to the right that is overlapping onto the background, which is in an X shape created by repeated colorful dots. The elephant dung is located on the asymmetrical side and is 3D. There is shade underneath the dung. Crystal Philly's Monkey Magic Painting is a self-portrait of a successful artist as an entertaining pet. Through the lenses of critical race studies, the conflict it brought was racial tension. He addresses faith by showing his black virgin propped on his painting. Ophelia explains how the monkey represented slavery and is a reference to the way black people have been historically treated by white people. Ophili is associated with the African culture, so the monkey represents slavery. It also connects to scientific racism, where they classify individuals of different races on how they are distinguished. Ophili fed off of what was around him and where he grew up, so this is how cultural studies and psychoanalysis allows us to interpret this artwork. He showed us how his culture was represented and viewed around the world. The reason I chose a zebra is because it's a reminder that there is more than one way of looking at things. You learn to accept new ideas. Zebras represent that someone likes working in groups and teams while recognizing the power of achievement and accomplishing goals. They enjoy challenges and have a unique understanding of the world around them. Knowing that not everything is simply black or white, right or wrong, good or bad. I have a picture of me on top of the zebra's face, representing the zebra, and located to the right on the dung, I have three pictures of my mom, my brother, and my dad. Instead of including meaningful words, I included the three people that mean the most to me.